This one is a little bit bittersweet. Um, marketers have enjoyed third-party cookies, third-party tracking for quite a while. Um, I'm sure everyone's aware about the uproar around um, security and people's personal data and all the rest of it. I think it's a little bit silly. People are putting their credit cards into all types of websites and giving up their personal data every single day. Nonetheless, we're here and it's great that the team of Salesforce have um, been proactive with enabling first party tracking with Pardot. So in this video, we'll talk you through how to configure it, any considerations need to be made and how to make sure that that, that transition is as smooth as possible. So again, uh, not a great situation for marketers, but all browsers have either made the change or are making the change this year. So it's something you need to get on as soon as possible. Cheers. Pardot Ninja. Hey everyone, today we're covering um, first party tracking and why the change and how we can sort of make the transition with as little impact as possible. Now, um, I'm not going to sit here and sort of explain the whole concept to you. There's, there's plenty that you can um, look up. We will provide the links to this great write up that was uh, only done a couple of weeks ago and also the help site where you can get some more information reading to it. But essentially third party um, cookies have been how a lot of these platforms um, have been up, have been, have, been, have been enabling us as marketers and businesses in general to personalize content and experiences for customers across multiple different domains and, and, and platforms. Now, the only problem with the way that it works is that there are some privacy concerns. I don't completely agree with them given how much data everyone's already putting into um, their computer. So uh, look, it is what it is, but uh, essentially they're moving away from third party cookies and we're moving uh, towards first party tracking. So Pardot has gotten ahead of the ball. Um, look, the, Google Chrome will be retiring third party um, cookies early 2022, uh, but Safari and Firefox have already done it. So we need to get moving um, and you know, you might as well get ready for it now. Now, um, essentially the, the businesses that will be most impacted here will be businesses that have multiple domains. So the types of customers that I can think of would be um, businesses that have, uh, you know, are in different markets. So they might have a .com .au, .us, .uk, whatever it might be, um, or just a straight up .com. Uh, the way that they'll be impacted is that, well, actually, as I think about it now, regional, regional type sites probably won't be as impacted. It's more if you've got multiple brands um, or multiple domains where you've got similar customers. So I can think of some of our property customers that spin up a domain per project that they're building. Um, but they might, you know, that they'd have people that are looking across multiple projects for, for something that they want to buy. Now, what's going to need to happen now is that uh, they'll need to submit a form on each of those different domains for the activity data to be tracked and for Pilot to see that as one person. Even if you do have just one domain, uh, one tracker domain that is, you know, we've seen in some businesses where they might accidentally leave the Pilot tracker domain, the default one as uh, the, the tracker domain for some of their assets. I mean, you don't want to do that anyway, but if you know, you, it, this is a great time to audit your entire part of account and make sure that everything from the custom redirect that you might be using on an ad click or a banner click through to the web, the domain that the website that, that they're getting pushed through to, through to the form itself what tracker domain is being used for that and if you've got any files or any any other um, marketing assets that you're pushing out to that customer within that journey make sure they're all on the same root domain now we what we want to do is inside of Pardot 
So you want to come into pilot settings, account settings, and then press edit. And then you want to come in and turn on first party tracking. You want to also use this as well uh, during the transition period. Now you want to slowly start to um, phase these two out as you start to, to move across. So once you've clicked those, you can go ahead and, and save your account. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into domain management into your tracker domains and then you'll see something new now that we've turned it on there's a tracking code generator that sits here so if you've got multiple tracker domains um, this is where you can choose where it creates the um uh, the track domain code for you so you'll see i don't know in fact i might actually open one up so you can see um now i'm not comparing uh tracker domains to part of campaign tracking but uh, you can see in here that it actually gives you when you view the tracking code it actually gives you a number in the PIC ID where here it's actually dynamic. So depending on if you actually do have a um, campaign tracking code on that particular page where that person's come in, they will uh, be associated to that campaign where you can actually, instead, you can actually um, associate a tracking, a pilot campaign, sorry, um, to that particular tracking domain. So if you do that, um you know that's completely optional but if you do that um then, then that's what will uh, take effect and then just like you would with your existing track domains you can go ahead grab this bit of script and then put it in the relevant area this is still quite new so uh if there's anything that we've missed or if there's anything that uh, you might have feedback on or you thought was unclear please let me know you might have noticed that when uh, we released the new email builder experience, we put out a couple of videos after the initial one because we got more information and, and found found more things out. So don't be surprised if the same thing happens here. Uh, we don't claim to know everything. We learn just the same way as, as all of you do. So please let me know if there's anything that we could clarify a bit more and we'll go and dig and get some info. Otherwise, just like I've provided um, just the, like the links that I'll provide that I mentioned at the top of the um, video, go ahead and, and have a read of these and see if you can get some more information. If you find anything, please share it with us. We always love to uh, be uh, up to date with all of the information. I hope you enjoyed this. Cheers. Hey guys, thanks for watching that episode. We hope you got a lot of value out of it. Please don't forget to subscribe and engage with the content because a lot of it is driven by you guys, the user. So we need to know your feedback. Cheers.